What's up guys? Today on Knife Banner, I've got my good friend Courtney Boyce, our local fishing expert. He's here to help us with some fishing knives. Whoa, 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 wait. Make sure you guys watch to the end because we have an epic giveaway, over $600 in value. Back to the show. Uh, let's jump into some knives. Let's do it. All right, here I'm gonna hand these off to you. This one, first off, is a Spyderco Native 5 Salt. They use a, let's see, it's a LC200N steel, but it's basically nearly rust proof. What kind of fishing applications would you use this knife for? Well, first of all, I've drawn to the scale-like pattern that's on the outside which I really like. I like the color because when you're fishing, it's you, a lot of times we fish at night and just the bright yellow color really stands out if you drop it or if it falls out of your pocket or whatever like that. When you fish, you get wet. So something that's not gonna rust is a huge peace of mind. Right. This, I feel like I can just spray out with a hose if there's stuff in there. I think this is more of like a everyday pocket knife Maybe something where if you were wet waiting, you'd throw it in your pocket or hook it on your waistband, something like that. Totally. You were talking about potentially using the uh, the spidey hole as a hook popper. Yeah, like uh, the other day I was out in the boat with my kids and I didn't have any forceps with me and they were just, you know, throwing, uh, they were throwing out lures and stuff like that. And I did end up using my knife where I just kind of hooked it around um, the hook and kind of popped it. Nice. And it worked. I it, mean, worked. it worked. Whereas I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to get a treble hook out of a fish. Right. So, it's got the FRN scales, the LC 200N steel, four-way reversible pocket clip, and it's a lockback. So we have another Spiderco on the table. I'm gonna hand this one off to you. This one is the Spyderco Atlantic Salt. Now this has their H1 steel. It's a little bit different, but it is super, super corrosion resistant. Um, Jamie, our camera guy, he actually did a video of some of the Salt Series knives in some glass containers from the Great Salt Lake. And it was amazing, the results. This knife is really cool. Full serrations. What kind of things would you implement this knife into fishing? If you need something cut really fast, that thing's gonna hack through anything. In case of an emergency, this is what I would want. A lot of times when you're in the river in a drift boat, if your anchor gets caught up on something, it can turn into a really dangerous situation. In rivers, everything's unpredictable. Any type of thing that you just need hacked off really quick, it'll do it, it's, it's super sharp. Cutting off life jackets, that's something that a lot of people probably don't think about, but could be very useful. Yeah, if you're in a boat or especially even kayaking on a river, or fishing or yeah. whatever in a river, sometimes if you go through a log jam or something, you can get caught up on trees or something. So this one is very interesting. It's got a 3.6 inch blade little bit bigger, lots of teeth, kind of looks like a like a crocodile a little yep. bit. That knife is really cool. It's on the website at a hundred dollars. So you get your super corrosion resistant steel, your FRN scales, your two-way reversible pocket clip, and full serrations on that that H1. All right. Okay. What else do we got? We got this work sharp. Okay. This is a sharpening system, and it does a lot of really cool things. It's got the adjustable pivot, and you can go from fine, coarse, and then they have a fish hook sharpening bit on that ceramic rod. Which we used. Heck yeah. Now, I think it's pretty important to have one of these maybe in your fishing bag or tackle box or anything like that obviously if you need to sharpen a hook or a knife a fillet knife 
any of that, it's handy to have that. Absolutely, I think, I think especially a fillet knife because fillet knives, you're hacking up a lot of fish. Right. You're gonna go through them quite a bit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, to be able to just get a quick edge on it. Now, the yeah. nice thing about this, I really like this, is these are replaceable. You can actually pop these off and inside are some instructions on how to use the system. But then they just snap back on, which is cool. And you got your, your coarse and your fine, and these are your guide angles. Then you have a strop. It's kind of cool. I think these work sharps are nice because relatively small for a sharpening system, a good sharpening system. Right. And you can just throw it in your bag, pretty lightweight. And for 40 bucks. 40 bucks. $37.95. And you can replace any of those. Right. That's actually pretty sweet. Maybe you catch a beaver and you need to process a beaver. Don't do that. Such a majestic creature. Up next, we have got the Leatherman Skeletool. Now, you used this for a little bit while we were on the river. Yeah. What were some of the uh, implications that this thing has that could be useful for fishing? Well, I like it. A lot of times I'll use a Leatherman just because it's got so many tools on it. So I'll put it, you know, on my, on my belt and have it there just camping and everything else. We're in the wilderness a lot. Right. Um, but I like that you can not have it that way and just have it on your belt with the carabiner. With the so the carabiner, yeah, you can just throw on a belt loop or on any, you know, there's so many like gear daisy straps chain type and, straps right. or even add a lanyard on yourself that you could easily clip on. But they're just awesome because they've got so many different features on them that all app apply to fishing, fly right. fishing, that kind of stuff. So I like the Skeletool, but there's one thing that I'm not too fond of. I, f I think for fishing, I would rather have a different Leatherman tool because a lot of times, like we were saying before, your ha one hand is always busy. Right. Where this one, it definitely is a two-handed tool. I think maybe we have a, a Leatherman free. It's kind of like a yeah. you can open it with one hand and access the knives and close it with one hand. I think that might be a little more helpful, but for a smaller tool that, like you said, can just clip on, I yeah. think that's a great option. It's a great option. Yeah, Leatherman makes so many good tools, but I I do think a spring would be good because you've got either a fish and trying to open and close it with right. one hand, it is possible, but not as convenient. Right. So this Leatherman has seven tools and it's on the website for $55. Great value. And if the Skeletool isn't your jam, there are a ton of Leatherman options and a ton of other multi-tool options. So that's a, that's a pretty good thing. Now you were talking about spring assisted on the pliers portion, right? Yep. Well, I think up next we have the Gerber Magna Plier. Can you bust that thing open? Now this thing is cool. It's seven and a half inches. It has multiple functions, multiple features. Obviously it has the lanyard that you can clip on. That way if you drop it, right? Right. It's, it it's attached to lot. you. Happens a lot, especially when your hands are wet. Totally. Now this thing's cool. It's got replaceable plier tips and it has a cutter. Yeah, there's a lock too. So you just pop that, it'll lock it while it's in its sheath. Um, these I think I'm really excited about. I've never, I haven't used these before. A lot of people use these. It's, they're almost critical. It's like one of the most critical tools that you've got when you're out in the ocean. But you also need something that, you know, sometimes you're cutting 130 pound test. Sometimes you're even cutting braid. Um, you're cutting wire, a lot of crazy stuff. So having some clippers, some cutters that can really dig in and just pop stuff really easily um, is, a, is a big deal. I was excited when this thing came through. I think it's cool. For the price, man, it's like you can't, you can't beat it, I don't think. Right, 70, I mean, 70 bucks for that thing. 70 bucks. Up. And I, th I feel like Gerber is matching that higher price range of quality of tool for, sweet. for 70 bucks. You're looking at 350 bucks for like the nicest stuff, you know, out on the market. So right. 
Up next, we have got this very interesting looking pair of shears. Not scissors, they're shears. Just kidding, I think we sell a couple scissors on the online too. This is the Gerber processor. It's 30 bucks. If you're processing a lot of fish, cutting through bones or whatever else, this could be a useful tool. It'll hack stuff real good. That one on the website is 30 bucks. More of a boat tool, I would feel like. Yep, or a camp tool, yeah, if you're just processing fish out real quick. Right. Yeah, okay, so up next, this is one tool that I've been very excited about, and I think that you liked it quite a bit. It's called the Gerber Line Driver. It's small, sleek. What do you like about it? Well, I do like this, yeah. It's great for tying on flies, you know, it'll grab your fly, you can tie it, it it'll twist, you can actually even just twist your line, you know, when you've got it hooked on there, and then just kind of finish your knot off. Um, great for the visually impaired older guys or ladies. Um, I love that you can clip it onto your waist belt and have it as a line snipper. It's also great for the bigger hooks where you can actually pinch your hooks or um, split shot even. Pinch your hooks, feed the line through it, through the eye for also for visually impaired people or just if you want something that's a little easier to kind of Basically, it's like yeah. a quick access tool. Yeah, does a little bit of everything. Does a lot of quick stuff. access. It's pretty small and slim. It's got the spinning hook vise. It's got the orange tether ring. It's got a eyelet clearing spike. Mm -hmm. And then it has a hook threader, scissor snips, and split shot crimper. Okay, here's the best part. $40 on the website. If you're bucks. fishing for 40 bucks, I don't know if you can find a better tool with all those features. Multi-purpose tool, and there I don't even think there's a tool that exists that has that many features. Up next, we have got the Mora knife. Now this is a cool knife. This thing right here, fixed blade Mora. Um, just your typical bushcrafting knife. Um, this one in particular has a cork handle. Now, I dropped this in the river a couple times just to see how it would float. Because you wonder. So when we threw it in, it actually floated tip down, which makes sense, the steel, right? right. But just the butt end of the cork sticks up. I also noticed that the neon green, it was actually really easy to see in the river going down, even though only this much was sticking out. As a fly fisherman, I'm drawn to it because cork is what you have on the end of a fly rod, so in hand, it feels really awesome. That Moore knife is $30 on the website, and it's a pretty good one. We have another Gerber. This is the Gerber Controller folding fillet knife. It's got a six inch blade. It's got FRN and rubberized grip on the handle. How does that feel in hand? It feels dang good. I like the rubber actually, because when you're dealing with fish, they're slimy. Yeah. They're hard to even hold on to. So holding onto a knife on top of that is can be tough. Now, I think it's pretty cool because it's a flexible, slim, very slicey blade, but you can fold it up and shove it in a backpack. Yeah, especially if you're using smaller backpacks or sling packs or whatever. Right. So to have something that folds up to where you don't have to worry about getting stabbed and is pretty sweet. This one's cool. Uh, it's, like I said, it's got the rubberized handle. It's called the Hydro Treated Grip. Like makes, it. It, makes it extra grippy. And for a folding fillet knife, I feel like you get a lot out of this. You still get a big blade, it's six inches. I kind of feel like, especially if you're walking a river, fishing out of a backpack, hiking a shoreline, totally. something like that, that would actually be very helpful. Yeah, we were just up in Alaska a couple weeks ago and we were fishing for sockeye and we caught a bunch of them and I've never brought fish home. I always just release them, but this time I was like, man, we're bringing fish home. So 
we caught our limit, filleted them out, and uh, and we prop fish home. That sounds good. I love barbecue I, time. Nothing better than some fresh fish. Oh man! And that Gerber fillet knife goes for fifty dollars on the website. Okay, one Thank left. You. We only have one one item left, and it's a big boy. This big is bubba. the Bubba blade. 13 inch tapered flex fillet fixed blade. Now, that's some serious business. It is. I like the grip. Very like straight rubbery. away, you're like right into, you know, like your finger positioning. And yeah, the grip's what it's all about. Again, fish are slimy, slippery. So a good grip is nice to have. I feel like a big fixed fillet blade like this is more something that you have maybe wherever you're cleaning and processing your fish maybe you leave it in your boat or leave it in the truck i don't Boats, would yeah, you trucks would you carry that fly fishing no unless like i did catch a beaver or something like that and i needed to like defend myself it was justice beaver it's a crime fighting beaver. But no, this is something that you'd probably just leave at camp or somewhere where it's just, you know, when you get back from fishing and you want to like, you know, get dinner going or whatever, that's where I see that. This knife to me screams Florida, Southern fishing, people who are processing a lot of really big totally. fish. Salmon, Alaska. Salmon. But yeah, like, yeah. The, with the, you know, they have different blade lengths. And so for trout and smaller fish, you know, you, you need a smaller blade. This is a great kind of medium sized blade where you could hack through the majority of most things. If you're in, going into like tuna and stuff like that, you obviously right. want like a bigger blade. But, but yeah, I think this is a great size for what most people use cool. a fillet knife for. It's a beast. Yeah, it's a it's a big boy. A good one. Uh, you can get the Bubba Blade for fifty dollars. There's a lot of fifty dollar knives on the log. Not really a table, but it's log. definitely a log. All right, man. Thank you so much for being on. Where can the good people find you? At Blue Halo Gear on Instagram and Twitter, and then our website is bluehalogear.com, and or just find us on Google Blue Halo. You'll, you'll find us. Sweet. Now, we have an, a giveaway that we're, we're putting five items into the giveaway. Now let's just run through them real quick. We've got the Spyderco Native 5. We've got the Leatherman Skeletool. We have the Work Sharp Field Sharpener. We've got the Gerber Line Drive. And the Gerber Folding Filet Knife. Now, Courtney, you have something else that you're adding to the giveaway. Is that right? We will match your offer with a Blue Halo five weight fiberglass red rod. These things are so beautiful. You guys have got to see these up close and personal. They are amazing. Look at those bright colors. That is so cool. I personally have one of Courtney's fly rods two of them and they're amazing they fish really well if you guys don't know about blue halo fly rods look them up all right well that about wraps it up awesome thanks for having me on man i love oh. talking knives and i love cutting stuff heck yeah man no it was fun it was great to get out on the river go fishing it and then awesome. hang out out in nature it's a, a great day in the office heck yeah all right guys for this epic giveaway why don't you guys head over to Instagram. There will be a post today and it will give you all the instructions on how to get in on the giveaway. So jump over to Instagram, check that out right now. If you have any kind of questions, leave comments below, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. What's up guys? Thanks for watching the show. Make sure you guys subscribe. Also check out the website if you want to see any other fishing knives or any other knives. Also make sure you guys check out the playlist because it's epic.